Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today's video is actually sponsored by Cricut. However, all projects and opinions are my own. So I'm using my Cricut machine today to make a personalized gift. What am I making? I'm actually going to make a name that's magnetic. So this is a magnetic board. And the kids can use these on the refrigerator to spell their name. So this project is super easy with your Cricut machine. And you can make this with a Cricut Explore series or a Cricut Maker. So why do I like giving personalized gifts? It's a soft, simple, handmade touch that you can't get anywhere else, and it's personalized just for your gift recipient. So let's get started and start making these letters to spell a child's name anywhere they want with magnets. To make this project, you'll need some Cricut felt as well as some Cricut mosaic iron-on. So I'm using the squares. If you've never used mosaic iron-on before, it's a little different, but we'll go over the steps. You'll need some magnets, some embroidery floss, You'll need a Cricut machine. I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2, as well as the Easy Press. I'm using the smallest Easy Press, but just about any size will work, as well as an Easy Press mat. First, we're going to cut the mosaic iron on. So you'll want to put it face down on the mat and mirror your cuts. Face down, you should be able to feel the squares or circles with your fingernail across the back. The front of the iron on is smooth. We're going to put that down on our mat and we're going to start our cut. Again, you want to be sure your cut is mirrored for iron on always. And then we'll continue with the cuts on the other iron on materials. Now we can cut the felt pieces. So one tip is to put your felt down on the mat and use a brayer to make sure it's really stuck down before cutting. Then we'll switch our dial to custom and pick felt from the menu. Now we can continue cutting the rest of our felt pieces. So now that we have all our pieces cut, we need to weed the mosaic iron on. So all you need to do is grab the top carrier sheet. So it actually has two carrier sheet, where a regular iron on just has one. So if you were just to grab the squares, just the squares would come off. But if you grab the carrier sheet, and peel that top carrier sheet back, you'll find that you can weed away all the excess much, much quicker. So we're just going to peel that back from our letters, for all four letters, and then we'll put our project together. So now we're ready to add our mosaic iron onto our letters. So you just want to add it to the very top letter. The bottom letter stays plain. And we want to preheat the material for about five seconds. And then once the material has been preheated, we can locate the mosaic right on top of the letter. This is with the carrier sheet up. And I want to press it down on there really well so it doesn't move as I set my easy press down. And then we'll press for the full time using medium pressure. This is a warm pail product, but you may want to let it cool a few seconds just to make sure it doesn't burn your hands. And when you peel it, the liners will probably come off at different times. So I've had it come off both liners at the same time, but this one is peeling off, the top liner is peeling off of the project. And that's okay, either way is fine. So I'm going to peel the top liner back. And now we're left with a letter and the liner is actually cut to the shape of our letter. So if the whole thing is still shiny, the liner is still on there. And you want to remove that second liner. So you're just going to pick that liner up in the edge and then just start peeling it back. 
watching to make sure that the iron-on is not lifting up as you're peeling. If it is lifting up, then we're just going to press again and then try to remove. Now this letter is ready and we're going to repeat for the rest of our letters. So now we're just going to add our magnets to the inside of each letter. So I'm actually going to use hot glue for this step just because it's quick. So we'll use each magnet, put a dollop of hot glue. So this is the back of that front piece that we added iron onto. And just press the magnet into place. Then we'll let these cool. So I'm using embroidery floss in a contrasting color. I, I just feel like it's much easier to intentionally not match than to try to match and not be successful. So on the A, I'm actually going to go around the inside first, but on other letters, you would only need to go around the outside. So we're just going to do a whip stitch all the way around, in this case, the inside of the letter. You can pin your letters together just to keep them lined up as you stitch or you can just do it like I'm doing it and hold them. You just will need to pay attention to the letter itself and make sure it doesn't shift as you stitch. And then in this case, we're just going to start around the outside of the letter. Now, you will want to stitch a few inches and then stuff as you go. So we're just going to use a little bit of stuffing so it doesn't take much. You just want your letters to be slightly puffy. And if you stuff as you go, it will not be as hard to stuff the letter. So now we've sewed a few inches. We'll just take a little stuffing and start stuffing up around that magnet in this case. And then we'll continue, sew a few more inches and stuff. Then just repeat with all of the letters. So this project is super easy with your Cricut machine once you get everything cut out and then you just put them together. So grab your Cricut machine, your supplies, sit down in front of the television, stitch up these letters, and then they can put them anywhere that is magnetic and help to learn how to spell their name. So thank you all so much for joining me today. If you've loved this project, loved this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not already, you'll want to be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have Cricut videos every week and you don't want to miss any of those. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, any questions about the Cricut, any questions about making personalized gifts for anyone on your gift giving list, or any questions about making the magnetic letters that we made today, then ask them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer those as well. So thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week with more Cricut crafting fun. Thanks y'all. Bye.